I just got right in the nose, and it smells good. <laughs> For this porchetta-ish roast, the first thing you need to do is score the fat on top of a loin of pork. Perfect. Flip it over and basically butterfly it. I'm seasoning that well with some salt and pepper on the inside. And I'm just gonna set that aside and get to work on the filling. So I've got a pan here over about medium heat. And into there, I wanna add about two tablespoons of fennel seed, a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, while those spices toast up for about a minute, I'm gonna dice up 75 grams of pancetta along with a tablespoon of finely chopped rosemary. Those spices are smelling nice and toasted, so I'm just gonna transfer that into a large bowl. Pop that pan back on the heat and add in that pancetta and rosemary. Season that with a bit of pepper too. Now I've got one bulb of fennel and two medium red onions that I've already chopped. Onto there, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil and season that with some salt and pepper. This pancetta and rosemary is golden brown, so I'm just gonna transfer that into this bowl and let it cool. I'm gonna add 300 grams of sausage. You wanna remove the casings, so I don't want that in there. Half a cup of grated Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. Six whole cloves of minced garlic. Mix this up to get everything nice and combined. Now grab that roast and that filling and spread it over top. All right, now press that down. Now roll this up and keep the inside on the inside and the fat on the outside. Perfect. Now I wanna tie it. I've got six pieces of kitchen twine here. Now give those strings a trim, and I'm popping this whole roast onto my vegetable trivet. Fat side up, drizzle on a tablespoon of olive oil, season that with some salt and pepper, and pour in half a cup of dry white wine over those vegetables. To cook this baby, I'm popping it into a 450 degree oven for 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna drop the temperature to 325 and let that go for an hour and 15 to an hour and 30. Now we just let that rest for 20 minutes and then it's porchetta time. Oh my gosh. The inside looks so juicy and delicious. This looks amazing.